Shiloh was Mike Parsons and Brian Davis's bundle of joy. The two were even in the delivery room. There when she was born, uh, the minute, I mean the second she was born. Piles of papers show the documented home studies, letters, hearings, all in order to adopt Shiloh. At a custody hearing last year, Shiloh's biological mom fought to give the two custody. It means the world to me. I just want her happy and I want her safe and I want her in a place where she's loved and cherished and Mike and Brian give that to her. But when the couple moved across the state line from Missouri to Kansas, plans turned south. I do feel like we were treated differently. When he came out and did that home study, he was very fake with us and he went back and wrote that letter. And then lied to us that and he didn't. lied to us that he, that he didn't. In part because of that home visit, nearly a year later, a judge denied granting the couple custody of Shyla. They say the judge cited the law and instead gave Shyla's grandparents custody of the now two-year-old. The law prefers to place children in homes with siblings or relatives. However, Shyla's five other siblings are also in foster homes. In the end, nothing. And I, I agree. It's a witch hunt. Really. This despite a record number of Kansas children in foster care. That's what drives me insane is like they waste time like on this instance where there was no issue. She's very well cared for, uh, you know, never missed a doctor's appointment. Did every, Brian and I showed up at every court date, every FST meeting, every staff, staffing, every everything. An audit is underway into the Kansas Department of Children and Families. But for Mike and Brian, nothing will ever bring Shyla back. It is really too big of a monster to take on. And we you know, could spend your whole life trying to get something done. I hope that something's done, but I don't expect it.